Oh, oh, I think we have them. Hey guys, are you there? Yes. Oh yes, we got you. Awesome. Glad to have you back. Uh, incredible set. Love the stuff that you guys are doing. Um, so thank you for being on the show today. No, thank you very much for the invite. We had a blast and, and, and it was amazing to be back here. Yeah. So, sorry I dropped my pick at the first song, but I just uh, took it up quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to quote T-Bone 5 on that. This is live. You cannot, you know, fake these things. Yeah, there's always uh, something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's I mean, there's a little bit of a trade-off, right? Like, okay, on the plus side, we get to, you know, have a guy in Vancouver streaming a show uh, that is being performed in Montreal to people all over the world. So if you <laughs> if you miss the right pickup, like that's fine. That, that stuff happens. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little bit understandable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, well, you guys are like you're a super unique act here on Bonus Stage. Um, love the take on on rock uh, fused with chip tunes. What is uh what is your creative process like for for making your songs? Well, uh, we we usually um, came up with several ideas, and and they came like not in the same way. Like sometimes Arturo has like a, 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 an idea of a riff that uh, he wants to develop. So we start around it, and then we add some drums and we add some beats. Sometimes it's all the opposite. We have like a like a melody that we want to put in in a, in the chip tunes. And when we have it around that, we start to build the song. So yeah, it's, it's very diverse and, and it's really, uh, it gives us a lot of freedom. So it's very, very cool. It could be uh, like, uh, like Diego, he could put the frame and the canvas and I just put the colors and the glitter. And then Diego tells me, uh, less glitter, more red, <laughs> less blue, more green, something like that. It's like a, a very, um, a party process. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're going to resort to any finger painting, just put it down in the lower right corner, that kind of thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, you said uh, while you were performing that you did release a new EP. Uh, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, for sure. As I said, um, this uh, EP contains two songs that uh, are kind of a tribute to, uh, to some songs that I created for a very old game, 10 years old now, uh, that was uh, developed for the, for the mobile, for my mobile devices. It was called King Caching. And uh, I had the fortune to work on this uh, soundtrack. And the songs went pretty well. The, the game had this retro vibe, that, uh, that Nintendo old pixel vibe. So they wanted some songs like in the same, in the same aligned to that. And, uh, and we decided just to kind of resurrect the songs. And, and we decided to just put uh, two of them together in a small demo that we have in our band camp. And uh, it, it went out pretty well, I think. And, and that's like uh, the result of, of our work of the last months. That's awesome. Yeah, folks in chat, there's the link. Uh, go check that out on Bandcamp. Uh, and is that, a, sorry, is that available on streaming platforms as well? This one, uh, this, this, we, just, we just released it on Bandcamp. Uh, in all the streams, we have our uh, first EP that is called DTU. That's the only one that you can find in, on the other ones. All right. Well, this there... kind of an obscure release just for you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Um, well, as I was saying while we were uh, trying to connect, um, you guys are going to be at Nerdstock next year, aren't you? Yes, we are. That's, I, uh, that's the plan. That's the big plan. Awesome. Well, I look forward to meeting you there. Uh, my band, The Runaway Four, is also booked to play there, and so yeah, we're cool. Have a fun time crossing the country to come and come and meet you finally. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be really fun. Nice. Yeah, we're very happy with the invitation. <laughs> <laughs> cool, because I've never I've never been that far east, but I understand that Montreal is. Uh, is is quite the place for for the music scene. Do you guys uh, do you guys like it out there? Do you get a lot of uh, gigs and stuff like that? Well, uh, I can say that it's very fertile the the musical scene in Montreal. Uh, it's just that last year everything stopped suddenly because of the pandemic. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty pretty good uh, ground for musicians. And yeah, there's lots of festival in the summer. Oh yeah, summer is like crazy. Like one festival after the other, uh, and and it was a shame that 
this year pretty much everything was canceled so you you feel the void you know when when you're kind of uh used to these kind of situations and then there's no music it's like wow something's missing yeah well i'm yeah i'm excited to see uh montreal getting its lifeblood back a little bit um and and i'm sure that you guys will be a part of that process too yeah we're gonna give you a very warm welcome here you'll love uh montreal summer <laughs> yeah definitely well early june is that is it get pretty hot out there by then it's not that hot it's actually very very good it's like a perfect weather i would That's say the best month yeah of the year you don't want it to be too hot and it's yes yeah, it's really good oh that's great we get what we call january out here uh so that'll be, <laughs> that'll be a nice change um, yeah for sure before i let you guys go though uh i'm gonna ask you the question that i've been asking every act on the show this whole weekend what is your deep cut video game what is a game that you love that you don't think a lot of people know about or appreciate Okay, well, mine is um, one from a Nintendo Entertainment System. It's called Uninvited. Um, I think it wasn't very popular. It's that kind of a RPG game, but the uh, point and click kind of, the very uh, pioneers of that style. And I really like it very much. Uninvited. Uninvited, awesome. Going to look that one up. For me, I don't know, like, uh, I used to play a lot of a game on the Super Nintendo, but I don't know how obscure or, or unknown it is. It, it didn't have too many fans back in my country, so maybe that's why I think it's kind of not very well known, but it's uh, Goof Troop. I love to, to play that with my brother, and uh, we finish it, like, I don't know, a hundred times, so yeah, that's oh. my... That's yours. Awesome. Well, somebody, gosh, I'm trying to remember who it was, but somebody yesterday also said Goof Troop and said that if you, oh, you see, if you play that two player is the way to go. If you play that with a good friend or yeah, like, like a brother or something like that, then uh, yeah, Ben Briggs said Goof Troop. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one came nice. up twice. Yeah, exactly. It's the perfect game to, to, to fight with your partner. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, that sounds awesome. Guys, uh, it's been really awesome having you on the show. Um, thank you so much for, for working that out. You guys had an incredible uh, production on your, uh, on your audio and your video. So thank you for that. And, um, and yeah, we'll see you around in chat for the rest of the day, I hope. Cool, sure. Thank you very much again for the invite. Definitely. Thank you. And congratulations for the endurance for this marathonic event. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Well, uh, I attribute that all to coffee and uh, and some nut bread. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. We'll see you guys around in chat. Thank you very much. Cool. See Thanks ya. See you.